Hey guys, welcome back to Wilder Smoke and Barbecue. Today we're gonna do barbecue chicken. We're gonna start off by adding apple cider vinegar to these pieces of chicken. What this is gonna do is gonna break down the tissue a little bit, allow more of the smoke to penetrate the meat, along with uh, allowing the dry rub to be absorbed into the meat as well. So we're gonna mix this together real good, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. Today, again, we're gonna be using the Masterbuilt Gravity Fed 560, and we're gonna be using apple wood. So we're gonna go ahead and light the fire up. We're gonna go ahead and keep the uh, firebox door and the hopper door open for about two minutes after lighting. Get this thing rolling, and then we're gonna go ahead and set the temperature to 225 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and load the chicken. We're gonna load it bone side down and uh, I'm really interested in using the master built for this because of the versatility we're gonna smoke the chicken first at 225 degrees it's gonna take a couple hours and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, increase the temperature to utilize the grill portion of it to sear in some seasonings all right it's been about an hour we're just gonna go ahead and check make sure everything is cooking evenly then we're going to set it back for another hour for 225. All right, it's been two hours now at 225 degrees. We're going to go ahead and remove these from the grill. And we're going to go ahead and drop them into the Wilder Smoke and Barbecue Signature Mop Sauce. And what this is, is a mixture of oil, vinegar, and seasonings. And we're going to go ahead and put these on, back on the grill and allow these to cook at 300 for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and flip them over. We're going to baste them and allow them to cook for another 30 minutes. At this point, if you start experiencing flare-ups, just turn the temperature down on the master belt. What this will do is disengage the fan and the flames will go out. Now you want to make sure that uh, once they go out, increase it back up to 300 degrees, close it up for about 30 minutes, and then continue to baste and rotate the chicken, ensuring that they're not burning. And you might have to do this two or three different times. And the key thing is getting the, uh, the internal temperature up to 170 degrees. All right, guys, here's the finished product. We went ahead and brought it up to 170 degrees internal temperature, then removed them from the grill. I allow these to sit for about five minutes covered up with aluminum foil, but they turned out absolutely beautiful. As we cut into this, you can see that it's full of juices. It really turned out great on the Masterbuilt 560, being able to smoke it for two hours at 225, and then finishing it the last hour on the grill feature at 300. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you next time on Wilder Smoke and Barbecue.